Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna answer a really quick question that I get all the time, and that is, how do I use images, like images from my local computer in my Express application? First and foremost, I'm gonna show you what I would do if I were in your position. I would go to the almighty Google, and I would type in how to use, there it is at the top, uh, how to use images in Express.js. They've got some tutorials in here. You can see Brad traversy has got something going on there. That's for image upload, not exactly what we're talking about here. Basically, we just wanna be able to put some images, like static files, into a folder and be able to connect directly to them in our application. We're going to click on this first link here, and you can read through this documentation, but ultimately what it's telling you is we have a directory that we can create in our applications that we can then tell the application that, hey, this is the directory where we're gonna have things like fonts, style sheets, client-side JavaScript, maybe even some HTML files and some images. In order to do that, you just need this line right here, or if you wanna get fancy, you can use this line, or you can get even fancier with this line. So this down here says, the path that you provide the express static function is relative to the directory from where you launch your node process. So depending on which folder you're in, when you run the node app.js command, then it's going to be relative to that. So if you run your Express application from another directory, let's say that you accidentally run it from like the views directory, then that could break your application unless you use this absolute path, and so you just copy this line. Well, it's got the forward slash static in there, which is not exactly what we want. So we kind of want a combination of what we have here and then what we have up here. Basically, we'll go ahead and copy this, go down into our code here. This is just a demo application. I used the express generator to create this. It's just like a bare bones express app. And so down here, after all these app.uses where we're telling it to do various things like use the URL encoded for our forms and then use cookie parser for cookies, we can go ahead and plug in this app.use forward slash static express static path.join dir name public. We're going to get rid of this first argument here and just leave it like this. And if we save this, I think this will work on its own to be able to serve this public directory. So if you don't have a public directory created already, then inside of your root directory for your application, in my case, demo app, go ahead and right click and create a new folder. Or if you're in the terminal, go ahead and do an mkdir and create that new folder, call it public. So this public directory is gonna live inside of the root directory of your application. If you're using something like Express Generator, then you'll already have this. But if you're not, go ahead and create it. Okay, so inside of here, you can put the files directly inside of public if you want, or if you wanna organize them a little bit, you can have like an images directory, a JavaScripts directory for client-side JavaScripts, and then a style sheets directory for your style sheets. So in this case, we're focusing on images. So I have an images directory. You can see that it's empty right now. So we are gonna put an image in there, and then we'll be able to link to it. All my views are set up, I'm using EJS. What I wanna do is I want to see if I can connect an image from my public images directory, just having set up this one line of code. And if that works, then we'll know that this is working. So with that line of code added to your app.js, make sure it comes before you have your app.use where you're pulling in your index for your routes. If you're doing like an app.get directly inside of your app.js, that's fine meaning if you have your routes inside of your app.js, that's okay, just make sure that you put all this stuff right here before you have any of those routes. All right, so with that file saved, over in images, we're gonna want to plug an image in there. Let me open up my terminal, there we go. Okay, so I had to figure out where the image file was and then now I have to move it into this directory. So I'm gonna put it inside of here, make sure that it goes inside of public forward slash images and let's see if that works. Great, so there's that image over there. It got copied over. If we take a look at this image, you can see it's all blown up, but it's just a image of a tent out in the snow. If you're coming from Colt Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp, then this image may be familiar to you. Okay, so with that image in place, now if we go over to our view, views, index.ejs, we should be able to plug this in as an image. So we're gonna do an image tag here, and then the question is, how do we point it to that image that's over here? So let's just try forward slash 
and we're not going to do public. And the reason is we're already telling our application that the public directory is where we store all of our static assets, including images. So if you're pointing towards a static asset with something like the link right here, or if you have, let's say, a script and you're pointing to a script with the source attribute, or in this case, we have an image and we're pointing to the image with the source attribute, it's gonna go directly to the folder inside of public, or if the file itself is directly inside of public, it'll just point to the file. So you can even see that right here with the link. The link is going to forward slash style sheets, forward slash style.css, which is right here inside of public. So for the image here, it's gonna be forward slash images. Make sure you do the forward slash, and that is because of how the routing works, and I can explain that in a later video. But go ahead and do forward slash at the beginning, make sure that's there, point it to the folder, in this case images, and then the file name. So bg-1.jpg. Save it, and this should show up, it's probably gonna show up crazy big, so we'll just do something like width 300, and that'll make it a little bit smaller. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. With my application running inside of the terminal, I'm gonna go over to my browser and navigate over to localhost 3000. And what do you know? There's the image. That's it. Make sure that inside of app.js, you include this line right here. And if you don't know where it is, then if you don't want to copy it from the screen, you can just, if I can get my browser to open, you can just go to expressjs.com and then go to the getting started, go to static files, and they have all the instructions here. You can use this version if you're always going to start your application from the root folder of your application. But if for whatever reason you're a type of person that like navigates around and goes into like the views directory or the routes directory or something like that, and then you try to start your server from that folder, that's fine, but it might break unless you take the extra step and do something like this. This first argument is saying, we're gonna serve it from forward slash static, and you're creating a virtual path. You can read more about it up here, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to go directly to whatever folder or file is inside of the public directory. So I go ahead and take out that first argument, leave the second argument, save this file, make sure of course this comes before your routes or the inclusion of your routes if you're using the router. And then over inside of your view, you can just link directly to the folder and then the file or if the file were directly inside of public, just directly to the file. And it should be working at that point if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any questions for future content of this type, things related to ExpressJS that you've been wondering about, how do I do this, how do I do that, let me know in the comments below and we'll see if we can't get that queued up for a future video. Thanks for your time. I hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.